my favorite snacks, which is Cheez-Its. So I'm gonna show you how to make the homemade version. So if you want, you can get all your ingredients and cook along with me, or you can save the video and watch it at a later time and cook with your family. So you're going to need flour, ice cold water, softened butter, shredded cheese, and a bowl to mix it all together. Okay, so I will post the ingredients and I will post the recipe as, as well as some extension questions after that have to do with science and math. So the first thing you are going to do is you're gonna to mix together your butter, cheese, and salt. So I have my bowl. I hand shredded this cheese, but you could use um, bag cheese, that's fine too. Um, I have white cheddar, you could use Parmesan, you could use pepper jack, whatever you're feeling, whatever you have in the house is perfect. Okay, so I have this, and then I have my butter, which is softened. I softened this one using the microwave, but you could also use, um, put the butter on the counter overnight and or for a few hours during the day. And then I also need my salt and I need just a little bit of this. Perfect. Okay, so remember when we are baking, it's really important that we follow the directions because otherwise it won't come out right. So I'm gonna mix together using my hand beater. You can use a stand mixer too, or a whisk, whatever you have, um, to mix this so it's nice and smooth. So that seems nice and smooth. So now I'm going to put in my flour. And like I said, I'll post how much you need. I actually halved this recipe because cooking shows are actually really hard to do. So this is my third try. So um, Miss Knash is gonna have a ton of Cheez-Its to eat, but that's okay. So I just added um, some flour and now I'm gonna mix that together. And it should form like big crumbs. Okay, so once that's all mixtured, you're gonna have like a nice little powder. You're gonna start adding in that ice water. It's really important that that water is nice and cold. I've been letting mine sit in ice cubes um, because that's what helps the dough form. So I'm going to put in some water, a tablespoon at a time. At this point, I'm using half a tablespoon because I have to the recipe. Mix that in, and then the second one I do, I'm gonna use my hands to make it, it form into a dough. I'm just gonna knead it together you need to add more water, you can add more water. If you like things spicy, you could add some cayenne pepper. I do not like spicy things, so I'm not adding in cayenne pepper. You wanna really make sure you get all the stuff at the bottom and you're really mix it together and if it's not coming together you can add a little bit more water but as you see I'm just mixing away okay so once you have a nice ball formed and you got all those little bits at the bottom of the bowl you are going to form two discs. So you're going to take your ball of dough and you're simply just going to break it in half. And after you break it in half, you're going to form two more balls. Then you're going to flatten them down. Then I'm going to wrap them. Here I am. I'm going to wrap them in some press and seal. You could use plastic wrap, you could use a plastic baggie, you could use aluminum foil. 
whatever you have around, and then you're going to refrigerate them for 30 minutes. Like all chefs, I have two already prepared. So now I'm gonna show you the next step of rolling out the dough. So you're gonna take one or two, you can do either, either or. You're gonna take one of your discs of dough. And you're going to, I like to use a cutting board so I don't get it all over the counter, but you're gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on your cutting board so the dough doesn't stick. I'm just going to place it down and you're going to notice that it, right now it's a lot tougher because it's been in the fridge. So now I'm going to take my hefty rolling pin and I'm just going to roll the dough out. You want to try to make a rectangle or a square as best you can but So that seems pretty thin. It's obviously not a rectangle, but what I'm going to do, I can show you this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pizza cutter and you can use a knife, but make sure you have an adult with you, please. And thank you. And I'm going to make the best rectangle that I can or square out of my dough. And then I'm just going to move the rest of it to the side and then I can actually use the rest of that later. Okay, so after I have this all cut into my square or my rectangle, I'm actually gonna put it right onto a pan lined with parchment paper so it doesn't stick. And then I'm gonna cut them right on there because it's easier to transfer. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it right on my pan. Then I'm gonna use my um, pizza cutter or my knife and I'm gonna cut them into little squares. And you can make them as big or as small as you want. It's kind of the fun in all this. So, whoop, there we go. I just made some slices that way. I'm gonna put that back now because it just fell apart on me. And make cross sections. They don't have to be perfect because so if I want to make some smaller, I'll make some smaller. If I want to make some big, if I wanted to bust out a cookie cutter and make fun shapes, really big fun shapes I could, and just make really big crackers. So once I'm done, I have all these little squares. I'm just going to lay them out flat. I obviously only did one of my discs of dough, but you can do both, or you can save one for later. All right, so I'm just going to spread mine out and roughly like that. And then to make them look like Cheez-Its, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a toothpick, which I lost. I got another one. And I'm going to wiggle my toothpick in the middle of each one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 375 for like 10 minutes. And that's it. Um, when they come out, since I've already made so many, they look like this. I don't know if you can see them. They look like little Cheez-Its. Um, remember the color is gonna be different than um, regular box Cheez-Its because of the type of cheese you use. Um, but boys and girls, thank you so much for cooking with me. I really miss you all. Um, I hope you guys are staying active and you're staying healthy and you're staying kind. Um, keep checking in with your fifth grade teachers. We really miss you. Um, and we will talk soon. Enjoy your Cheez-Its.